Good day everyone and I am Professor Shahid Hassan and you are watching examination of the oral cavity as the micro learning content uh, which is one of the series of micro learning contents developed to complement your digital learning as part of the ENT examination. The whole video I assume will not take more than eight minutes. After watching this micro learning content, students will be able to demonstrate the examination of oral cavity in ENT setting. Regarding the anatomy of the oral cavity, it extends from the lips to the palatoglossal arch or the pillar, anterior pillar of the fossas, enclosed by the cheeks. The slit-like space between cheeks, lips, encloses gingiva, teeth, tongue in the floor of the mouth. The floor of the mouth is formed by the mylohad muscle and the space is mainly occupied by the tongue. The small triangular area behind the last lower molar is the retromolar area which must be examined carefully for any ulcer or the lesion. The oral cavity is lined by the stratified squamous cell epithelium which is cretinized on gums, heart palate and tongue. Parated submandibular a gland and the sublingual glands are the associated major salivary gland with the mouth and are responsible for secretion of the saliva in the mouth. Examination of the oral cavity should start by sanitizing the hands, introducing oneself to patient, explaining the procedure and taking the patient's consent. Next, ask if patient has pain anywhere in the region and reassure him of examination, not a painful procedure and care to be provided. Do check if patient is well aware of his lesion and other systemic and metabolic disorders. Start with the examination of the lips and angle of the mouth for any blister often associated with viral infection or more serious lesions like suspected rodent ulcer that patient might have been taking light. Now start examining the oral cavity as demonstrated in the next video. Now let's watch the procedure how to examine the oral cavity in ENT setting. So I'm going to examine you for your oral cavity first and then the area behind and uh, lips and uh, uh, teeth as well, right? So in the process, you, as I said, if you feel any pain, please let me know, raise your hand, I'll stop. If I figure out from your exp facial expression, then face expression, then I'll stop myself, okay? So let me put on my uh, headlight first, right? This is to give you, uh, uh, give some ili illumination, right? Okay. Okay, and, uh, uh, okay, the, so the examination begins with uh, my examination of the lips and the, uh, uh, the mucosa, lips has got mucosa part and then the skin and the line between the mucosa and the skin is the vermilion line, right? And then uh, we have to look at the, uh, um, uh, the lesion that normally will happen here would be actually the um, squamous cell uh, carcinoma or the basal cell carcinoma at the angle can be angular uh, chylitis or blisters or, or as, as, as a result of the viral infection and all. Then we look at the inner aspect of the uh, gum, which is mucosa, should be pink in color, right? Can you open your mouth and chin up, little bit chin up, okay? Then we look at the, uh, the teeth for any ridges, for any, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, any infection and all, right? And then we look at the gums. Uh, so the ridges, any infection, inflammation, swelling, or uh, for that matter, um, we see whether it recedes from the, uh, the tooth, uh, but this in this case is okay, okay? So then uh, we look at the, can you look up, right? Uh, we look at the mucosa. Generally it is pink, right? The opening of the parotid gland through this duct over here at the cheek, right? Against the upper second molar. So, so in palpation, I have to wear the gloves on, right? Mm. So let me put on the gloves first, right? So I will uh, actually have uh, palpate the tongue uh, right, uh, uh, for papillae and all, uh, you have to see, and the base of the tongue, anterior tooth of the tongue, lateral border and all, right? And then, 
uh, now by manual examination, which is very important in case of the submandibular and parotid gland. So what I do is I put, can you raise your tongue up? Yes. So ask the patient to raise the tongue up and then put your two or one finger. I use one finger, it should be enough. So one inside and one outside and I uh, palpate between my two fingers. This is the submandibular submandibular gland palpation, which is different from the submandibular lymph nodes. Submandibular lymph nodes are usually multiple if they are there, but submandibular gland is usually one. But sometimes you may feel a grating sensation over there, which could be due to uh, 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 the calculus. So this is the frenulum, right? So frenulum, sometime exaggerated, then in children we have to divide it, okay? The, then next is the, the bimanual palpation of the parotid, which is a uh, little harder for the patient because patient might gag, so we have to explain it to the patient. So I'm going to examine your parotid gland a little bit inside. Uh, I'll stop, very quickly I'll do it, but I'll stop if you gag, okay? So I one finger here at the uh, anterior pillar and the other there, and then between these two fingers I, the, I examine uh, the parotid, particularly for the deep lobe of the parotid, okay? So that's uh, done, so finally it's time for self-assessment. And there are four cues as SIQ you have to answer. The four quizzes are SIQ1, how many division an oral cavity has and what are those named as? SIQ2, where does the parotid gland open in the oral cavity and what is its name? SIQ3, where does the submandibular gland open in the oral cavity and what is its name? And SAQ4, where does the sublingual glands open in the oral cavity and what is its name? Thank you and uh, watch your performance with your own self-assessment giving marks, one marks for each correct answer as in this rubric. You can take a pause here and read the answers to each of the four SAQs provided here. Now let's summarize the examination of the oral cavity and as you watched, after having sanitizing the hands, I introduced myself to patient, explained the procedure and took his consent. Next I approached the patient by asking him, her, to open the mouth after carefully examining the angle of the mouth and the rest of the oral cavity in, the system, in a systemic order from anterior to posterior of the mouth. Special attention was given to teeth, gums, and tea and posterior part of the tongue, a hard and the soft palate, retromolar region, floor of the mouth, and the opening of the salivary glands. Later, bimanual palpation is done as and when indicated with regards to the major salivary glands, if implicated. At the end, patient is explained of examination finding and allowed to ask question if he may want to.